cultures that we operate in are, are the created because of who we are as individuals, right? This is not about programs or is there a poster up or you know have you done specific things? It's about what's going on in the organization sort of every day and the observation about you know the 42 percent outperforming and everything else. I'm pretty sure it's not because they just said I hired more women, right? It's not. It's not a gender issue. It's a culture that thinks about diversity of thought. It's a culture that thinks about diversity of inclusion. And there are so many factors that we all face, right, in our organizations that if, if gender is critical, generational diversity is critical, diversity of thought is critical, and you know what I face, and I'm sure you know Scott and others face every day, is how do we how do we do all of those things? And I don't think it's just a program. Although um, Gloria Steinman convinced me programs are important, she scared the hell out of me. By the way, <laughs> um, programs are important and necessary to to cause things to happen. But you have to have an organization that actually has a broad diversity so that are in a position to excel and move forward. The organization embraces that, not just because there's a mentor or a, a progression path, because the organization likes that thinking. And that's, you know, for me, within the organization, one of the everyday challenges to make sure that when we run across people who are obstacles to that diversity, diversification or that thinking about inclusionary across the board, that you stop that. And it's, and it's often in my job, what I stop is more important than what I start.